Thank you, President. Let's not accept the line of the right wing in this Parliament that wants to blame the Tamil speaking people around the world for the ongoing uh, very serious human rights abuses in Sri Lanka. It's correct that they're back at the centre of world attention. Human rights groups were correct to raise concerns about the authority the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting would give to the Rajapaksa regime because government leaders like Cameron and Britain are ready to turn a blind eye to the human rights situation in order to defend and advance their own economic interests. Because we're more than four years after the end of a bloody and brutal civil war. We're more than four years after the genocidal slaughtering of up to 70,000 Tamil-speaking people at the end of that war. And there has still been no credible, transparent and full investigation into the war crimes of the Sri Lankan government. Impunity prevails, in particular when it comes to the government and military officials. The lessons learnt in Reconciliation Committee is as much of a whitewash as the government could get away with, and even the limited recommendations of the LLRC have still not been implemented. An independent international inquiry is long overdue and needs to be set up as speedily as possible and needs to be accountable to the victims and their families. The Tamil-speaking community has already been failed by the UN. It cannot rely on the so-called international community to bring peace or to bring justice. They need to continue to organise themselves in a struggle for justice in groups like Tamil Solidarity. Thanks a lot.